Welcome physicians. In today's training, we'll explore IGF-1 LR3, a powerful peptide that has gained attention for its role in tissue repair, muscle growth, and metabolic regulation. We'll cover indications, dosing protocols, monitoring, side effects, and even dive into the science behind its molecular structure. Let's get started. IGF-1 LR3, or insulin-like growth factor 1 long ARG3, is a modified analog of IGF-1, a peptide naturally produced by the liver in response to growth hormone stimulation. The LR3 variant is engineered for enhanced stability and bioactivity. Half-life, unlike natural IGF-1, which has a half-life of about 20 minutes, IGF-1 LR3 lasts approximately 20-30 hours, making it more effective for therapeutic use. Molecular formula C400H625N11015S9 with an amino acid sequence that replaces glutamic acid at position 3 with arginine increasing receptor affinity and resistance to degradation. IGF-1 LR3 offers a wide range of therapeutic applications. Primary indications, recovery from musculoskeletal injuries, tendons, ligaments, and muscle tears, muscle wasting disorders such as those associated with chronic illness, enhancing recovery in athletes after intense physical activity, metabolic syndrome management including improving insulin sensitivity, off-label applications, anti-aging protocols to preserve lean muscle mass and enhance skin health, supporting bone regeneration and osteoporosis. IGF-1 LR3 acts by binding to IGF-1 receptors on target cells, stimulating anabolic processes such as protein synthesis, enhancing muscle growth and repair, cell proliferation, supporting tissue regeneration in injuries, glucose metabolism, increasing glucose uptake in muscle cells, improving insulin sensitivity. Studies such as those published in the Journal of Endocrinology highlight IGF-1's critical role in accelerating recovery and enhancing tissue growth. Dosing must be carefully tailored to each patient's needs and clinical response. Starting dosage, subcutaneous or intramuscular injection, 20 to 40 micrograms per day, administered once daily for four to six weeks to assess tolerance and initial response. Maintenance dosage, increase to 40 to 100 micrograms per day, depending on clinical goals. Example, muscle repair, metabolic benefits. Treatment cycles typically last six to 12 weeks, followed by a four week washout period to prevent receptor downregulation. Monitoring is essential to ensure safety and efficacy. Baseline labs, IGF-1 levels, to establish a baseline. Fasting glucose and HbA1c, to monitor insulin sensitivity. Lipid profile and comprehensive metabolic panel, CMP. During treatment, monitor IGF-1 levels every four weeks to assess dosing efficacy. Periodic glucose tolerance test to rule out hypoglycemia. Liver and kidney function test to monitor systemic safety. Post-treatment evaluation. Reassess IGF-1 levels and fasting glucose after the washout period. IGF-1 LR3 is generally well tolerated, but side effects can occur, particularly with improper dosing. Common side effects, mild swelling or redness at the injection site, temporary water retention, moderate side effects, hypoglycemia, especially in fasting states, joint pain due to fluid retention, severe side effects, rare, hyperplasia or excessive tissue growth, hypoglycemic episodes requiring medical intervention, Close monitoring and gradual dose adjustments are key to minimizing risks. Let's discuss John, a 35-year-old athlete recovering from a severe hamstring tear. He began IGF-1 LR3 therapy at 20 micrograms per day, combined with physical therapy. Within four weeks, John reported significant improvement in pain and mobility. By week eight, MRI imaging showed accelerated tissue regeneration compared to baseline. Side effects, mild water retention, which resolved after dose adjustment. Here are some best practices for using IGF-1 LR3 in your clinical practice. Start with a low dose and titrate based on the patient's response. Always monitor glucose levels, especially in patients with prediabetes. Pair IGF-1 LR3 therapy with physical rehabilitation to optimize outcomes. Educate patients about the importance of adhering to the dosing schedule and monitoring side effects. 
The efficacy of IGF-1 LR3 is supported by robust research. A study in the Journal of Endocrinology demonstrated its role in enhancing tissue repair and reducing recovery time. Another trial in muscle and nerve found that IGF-1 therapy improved muscle strength and reduced atrophy in patients with muscle wasting disorders. IGF-1 LR3 is a powerful peptide with transformative potential in regenerative medicine, metabolic health, and recovery. By integrating it into your practice, you can offer patients a cutting edge option for optimizing health and healing. Thank you for joining this training. Let's continue advancing patient care with peptide therapies.